What's up everybody? I wanted to take a couple minutes today and show off our home base, not our horde base, our home base. Um, in a few of our videos, we've been here uh, walking in and out on the way to the fort, our horde base, which is behind us, um, next to our lake out there. Um, and I've mentioned that I would like to show this sometime because some people have asked if we live in the fort or if we ever have horde knights here in our barn. And the answer is no to both of those. We live here, we don't have Horde Knights here, and we just have Horde Knights at the fort that's back there. You can't see it from here. Kind of, sort of, few distances a thing. So no, you can't. But I want to take a couple minutes to show this. Um, just because, you know, we put a lot of work into this. And originally, um, we didn't plan on staying here, but we've done so much work to it that we're not leaving. So, well, I was, we'll start off in the front, I'll walk inside, show you around, and then show you outside what all this shit over here is about. Um, so the, the front door is motion activated by that camera. Obviously, you can see that. Um, and it's covered by a turret. If you're not my friend, or if you're a zombie, you'll die. Oh shit, open. There we go. <clears throat> so this is the front kind of crafting room. We have four crafting tables. Um, and a few boxes over here for, uh, you know, reloading supplies, general crafting shit, you know, batteries, engines. We got quite a few of those. Four tables, because we were trying to make things for four people uh you know you can use these up pretty quickly a lot of cement mixers we need a lot of cement mixers we got a lot of concrete mix a lot of mixer stuff um i have a little bit of ocd i'm not super ocd so i'm a big like stickler i guess on having things somewhat labeled and organized to an extent especially in this game because there's so much shit if you don't have at least a little bit of organization after you get into it for a couple weeks in game um it can be a, a headache if you don't at least somewhat organize everything. But anyways, yeah, we have three uh, chem stations over here. So we can make ammunition, uh, medicines. I think, yeah, Diablo Blanco has got some uh, gunpowder being made right now as we prepare for our next Horde night. All right, over here is our general shitty cooking area. We got a bunch of food ingredients, three different boxes, drinks, food that's ready to eat, cooler full of stock and full of beer and smoothies and coffee and teas, all sorts of stuff. Um, over here we got our forging stations, we've got seven forging stations, box full of stuff that still needs to be forged. We keep it all kind of segregated. Clay, lots of clay. We've been digging a lot, as you can see. Lots of stone, fuck tons of stone. Um, and not a whole lot of this, because we use a lot of this. I mean, this is a pretty good amount, but yeah, anyways. <clears throat> Most of these are pretty full. Um, some of them need to be topped off, but anyways, whatever. Uh, this is Dropbox. That's an idea I got from a guy uh, that's been a big supporter of my stream, uh, Fisher. He's always recommended having a Dropbox. So if you're out looting and you have a bunch of shit in your inventory, you come here and you don't want to spend time putting it all away, just get a Dropbox. Throw everything in there, deal with it later. You at least have one organized spot to bring it all from. And this is all our shit, basically. It's not perfectly organized, but it's somewhat categorized, so it's easy to figure out where to grab stuff from, where to put stuff back. Most of the weapon stuff is on the left side, so we keep like 7.62 ammo here, overflow box, general weapons, lots of weapons, pistol ammo, keep all that separate. Some of it's kind of all over the place, but at least most of the stuff goes, you know, it's categorized. It goes in its own specific box. A lot of this shit just needs to be sold, um, you know, after having 118 days in-game, running uh, maximum two-hour days per day, um, and four people, you end up accumulating a lot of shit, so... Um, that's that. Here we have our, kind of our garage. You know, we park both the Jeeps in here. Um, originally this barn had like this big connex right here. And these were like pig pens on the side. We kept those pig pens, got rid of the connex, and this is kind of it right now. Not much is going on over here. It's just a door. Um, this is our little, I guess, originally I made it to be like our parking area when we just had bikes and mini bikes back in the day. Um, so yeah, coffee painted every, well... I take that back. Little Red painted everything first, and I think Coffee uh, repainted it? I don't know. They did it. I didn't do it. So I got my little spot over here for my shit. Coffee Beer Puppy's got her spot for her shit. Diablo Blanco's got his spot for his shit. Little Red's got her spot for her shit. And uh, Mad Attack, we don't know if he plays with us still. He did. He has a spot here. Uh, I don't know. More to follow on that, I guess, someday. Um, next Horde Night, Day 122. Little Red was the last one to die. Um, okay, so outside I have um, some turret systems in place to kind of protect this area along with um, kind of like a, a siren alarm system. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. 
but everything's powered by these generator banks so every time i come in here pretty much every other day in game we're double checking these generators and make sure they stay fueled up um and this was just to charge batteries oh i didn't know those batteries in there um and then yeah so we get another door back here it's not motion activated from the outside it can be i think one of us ran into it with the truck and tore it off that's why i haven't redone it um but that automatically closes there we go um this is the back side and this leads to the fort way over there see it fort okay around the sides oh this is actually perfect here now protecting us i'm surprised we haven't been attacked yet because i have zombies on right now i'm pretty sure i turned them back on sometimes i have them off if i'm doing a lot of like a buttload of repairs on the fort by myself and there's nobody here to to really play with me <laughs> um i'll turn them off just so i'm not having to run outside like every 30 seconds and attack zombies but um yeah anyways they should be on anyways uh yeah so i have this like general wood catwalk system that goes around the entire barn and starting from back here i think there's like a total of six or eight turrets um all hooked up pointing into a general direction that i think is best targeting just the zombies um anyway i kind of got it set up is power comes in from the barn runs down here um i'm not using these battery banks right now i was originally but power comes over here and it goes to this siren uh, which is connected to these motion sensors whenever the motion sensors detects a zombie as you can see right here it sends power to the siren and whenever these things detect or whenever the gun itself it has its own motion sensor uh motion sensor whenever it detects zombies it shoots so the idea is that the zombie gets seen siren goes off and so does the gun sometimes it doesn't work out exactly perfectly because these camera angles that they have them probably aren't overlapping the same space but for the most part it works pretty good um, usually if you hear a siren going off a uh, turret is also firing at the same time um so let's get back up here ah, i thought i could make that cool yeah this wraps around the whole thing um i have three on either side another setup over here and there's also spotlights these things are tied to a uh, a relay that's controlled by sunlight so whenever the sun goes down they turn on another one over here a little setup catwalk comes across here Deep, 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 deep. Power goes down here. There's that one. That light also ties into the sunlight sensor denture thing, whatever the fuck it's called. Turns on when the light's down. Come over this side. Deep, 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 deep. There's another one right here. This continues around. This is the random one I put in the middle because zombies kept attacking like this pillar right here. I'm not sure how they like got around this one. There was a dead zone. And for some reason, they always were just going against this pillar. So I put one here just to kind of watch that area. It works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Another one there. I'm thirsty. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> All right, anyways. And another one over here. Random pumpkin still here. I thought I got rid of all those. Uh, and this was just a runway I built for my gyrocopter, which after building it, I realized I don't need this much damn space, but it's kind of cool. Um, there's a little bit more inside. Actually, I'll show you guys the farm too. Diablo is our resident farmer. I walked through that door. It's our resident farmer. So we got pumpkins, we got potatoes, we got corn for days, we got yucca. We got hops, because beer is an important thing. More so in real life, not in the game. More potatoes, more potatoes, more corn. Blueberry, you can't have enough corn and potatoes. That's our farm. On the other side over there, we don't really have shit. Um, I'll take you guys upstairs. This thing, we're, we're just experimenting. Nothing's happening with this. Don't worry about that. Upstairs, there's really not much to show up here. There's really only one thing I want to show. Everybody just has their bed scattered everywhere. Um, doop, doop, doop. I think that's Diablo's corner. He chills over there. I don't know. Reads comic books or something. This is my stream room. Sometimes when I'm streaming in, in real life, I stream from here. Well, remember when we played with Fisher and Mike? I killed a chicken with my bare hands. This is my actual stream, stream room. Real life, in-game in life stream room. Nobody's confused by that. It's also 
coolers are stocked full of beer. Except for that one. I've been drinking. Alright. That's enough of that. Rest in peace, Mad Mole. Up to there. Um, there's really nothing else. This is just... We haven't... I mean, we haven't done as much work to this place as we have our fort. Um, the top, we just built the catwalk so we can walk across. From down here, you can, you know, spy on me as I'm streaming. And uh, this just kind of... This was here when we moved in. And this just kind of goes out onto the roof and then back down onto catwalk. That's pretty much it. Um, I just kind of want to show where we live. Because uh, people have asked if I live in the fort, and we don't. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have. If you got any questions or comments or, uh, you know, complaints or whatever you got, leave them in the comments below. I'm appreciating the comments and the feedback and the support. Just hit 100 subs the other day. That's a big deal. Uh, channel's still pretty new, so huge thanks and everything like that. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Cheers. Good night. Good morning. Whatever. And uh, see you in the next video.